of drag gum on the edges and then a wipe over with the leather fat um, I haven't waxed it and brushed it yet so we'll show that in a moment but you can see the difference to what the uh, pricking irons or the irons do these are very sharp and I usually punch them through wax or dip them into my uh, I like to call it my secret sauce I've actually got a small canister of 50% beeswax and 50% paraffin wax and that allows me to easily glide through I mean it can easily punch uh, knife sheaths and so you're talking quite a thick amount of leather and the, this is, is like going through butter in fact this time I actually when I was punching the holes I was actually punching through that the leather that I was working on and through another piece of leather just trying to protect the tips as much as I can on my cutting board um, yeah I'm really pleased with the Etsy pattern if I had a diamond awl I think the holes would line up better and because I was going so close to the edge with that pattern um, sometimes you'd have failures right there where you can see I've slightly punched one part punched the next part trot, and it all didn't line up basically but once I tested what the pricking a uh, lot like what my uh, punching irons would do um, I realized that was the way forward so I'd say with the Etsy patterns which are made of like a card they're worth a small investment if you want to practice leather crafting without designing your own plans some of the other Etsy bits I tested was this which is a 10 millimeter French skyver it worked but as you will see in the video I hope I include the clips but um, it needs polishing and sharpening polishing and sharpening and when I made this one I'd already again polished it it cut a bit better I don't know whether I've still got the scrapings from where I uh, polished not not to hand but um, it took out better slices so overall it's a good pattern it works it certainly holds bank cards and I think I'll just wrap this video up with it after it's been buffed and polished so this is the wallet polished and buffed we'll probably get another light buff once the waxes calm down and I'll remove the hairs off of it there's the secret sauce which is 50% beeswax 50% paraffin wax I also tried one of these new I guess it's new to me but a punch where you can work it into the leather now You'll see that it leaves a mark. Sometimes you need to press it, twist it, um, and press it and twist it a couple of times. And I'm guessing, again, this is a typical Timu tool, so it's going to need sharpening. So what I have done, or what I tried doing, was sharpening the tip uh, just with my strop. It's going to take more work. I think that that's the thing with the Timu tools. This needs, again, another sharpening. You can still see the lines in it. And this definitely just needs a bit more love, I think. But it is working. So it's helping with, like, where we have the corners and cutting out on patterns. For example, this spot here. It makes this so much easier. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, my next project, I haven't decided what it is yet. I was thinking maybe a coin bag. 
or a dice bag or a if I make it slot with a slightly bigger bottom maybe I could even make a like a dice bag where you can actually roll the die straight into the bag more in the next video